Welcome, welcome to welcome. South City welcome. South welcome. City welcome. South City welcome. South City. What's up, y'all? Larry here with the LJJ Line Car. It's Thursday, let's see, the 7th. And I just want to tell y'all something. This is crazy what I'm about to tell you. I've been cutting this yard since I've gotten the Toro. I just always mold the front part of the yard with the Toro. And then I mow the back of the yard with the X mark. I never even took time out to see if I can mow the backyard with the Toro because the side of the gate is too small. What I always do with properties is in the city, I'll have to drive around and go through the back gates, you know, go through alleys and go through the back gates and stuff. But I was shocked when I realized that I can fit the Toro in the back of it. So I'm just sitting up here mowing this property with the X mark in the back and using the Toro for the front. What's been going on is that I've been straight up mowing a gang of yards with the Toro, stuff that I didn't even know. Last week, it was another property that I didn't know that I could mow with the Toro. And when I say the Toro, y'all know what I'm talking about. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. If you don't, if you don't watch my videos, then I'll show you. Now, see, I just parked her, and I got someone parked in right behind me, so I can't let down my stuff. Right? So I just got to scoot up some. You know, this is where cones come in at and all that stuff. Uh, it, in the city, it, this happens a lot. I park somewhere. And then somebody will pull directly behind me. They don't know that I need space to drop my ramp. They don't know that. So, hey, it ain't for me to get upset. But these cars are driving real close. This is South Kings Highway. And um, it's a busy street. I had some cones, y'all. I got to go buy some more. I messed around and left my cones at one of the properties out in the ghetto in South City, St. Louis. <laughs> but when I came back, them jokers was gone. Boy, people don't have no remorse, man. And crackheads, meth addicts, they don't have no type of remorse for you. If you leave something, you can kiss that goodbye. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to get started. This is gonna be a POV and real time. Make sure y'all watch it to the end. Drop some comments below. I hope that y'all enjoy. And I'm gonna holler at y'all in a minute. Let's get started. See, this is what I was talking about. They parked close, I had to scoot up some. But this would be enough space to drop it down. So, let me get myself situated right quick. This is why you need cones down and stuff like that. Cones gone. I gotta buy some more though. My cones gone and I gotta buy some more homes. About them cones, man. I was on South Jefferson. That's way busier than South Kings Highway. And it was a whole lot of cars coming and everything. So I pulled out my cones. I hardly ever use them just for these two streets. But next thing I know, when I pulled off and I'm gone, the next day I look out inside my truck and I see that I ain't got my cones. I'm like, damn. I left them out on South Jefferson. I drove right over there the next day, the next morning, them jokes was gone. Them crackheads had got it. We're about to get started again on leaves. I gotta put down my mulch kit. I gotta put the recycling kit on that Toro so I can mulch up some leaves. But a lot of my customers don't really even care about none of that. You know, when you get to talking more money, then that's when it's like, oh, okay, well, don't worry about it. I'll see you next year. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that either. But let me get started though. Man, today we're gonna talk about charging for everything. Listen, this is for those who really just struggle with charging. Straight up, you gotta get to the point where you is willing to charge for everything. Let me tell you why. The reason why you wanna start charging for everything is because it'll become a habit that you really need to escape. Now you sitting up here charging for your basic price. 
from the contractual agreement, whether it's written or verbal. The second you open up your mouth, that's a contract. And you let them know at the beginning what you do, you know, whether you mow, string trim and blow and blade edge. And that's what they're agreeing to pay for the basic bi-weekly prices or weekly prices. And you let them know in details, verbally or written, every area that you will be servicing. If you don't stream trim the plant bed, don't just do it for free. Let's say that a customer said, Hey, it's weeds growing inside the plant bed. Do you mind if you string trim that for me? I don't care if it'll only take you a minute to string trim inside that plant bed. Make sure you just sit up there and just tell them, hey, one or two things. If you're a nice guy and you're still working on growing your cojones, make sure you let them know, hey, this time, this is on the house. After that, if they ask you to do it again, they'll know and expect that you might charge. They can't say, why you want to charge me now? Because you will be looking crazy. You'll be like, dang, I don't want to lose this customer. And, I, and you probably don't want to offend them because you're nice right now. And you should always remain nice, but you just nice with an edge. You charge them for everything. So in situations like that, you have to be able to say something. And that's anything. If they was to come to you and say, hey, there's weeds growing outside the sidewalk. You have to be willing to say, hey, you want some sidewalk concrete treatment? It costs this much. I can do the whole place for this. You have to open up your mouth and say something, because if you don't, then you will find yourself in numerous predicaments where you're going to need to go up on that property because you have included multiple things by saying yes to questions and favors that they are asking. You know, you can't be mad at them. Don't get angry with them. Get angry with yourself. It's not a big deal. They're not doing nothing wrong. I promise you, if you say how much it costs to do something, they are either going to do it themselves or, or they are going to pay you the price to do it if they really want it done. Or they might realize that they really don't care for it that much. They was just asking if you could do it. I know how it feels. You don't want to be disappointed, man. I understand that. But I'm telling you for facts, somebody going to have to get disappointed. Now, that's just real talk. Straight up. Man, I remember a time that it was plenty of customers who I'll do something free for. Plenty of them. I just, I just won't say nothing about it, you know. Uh, someone asked me, hey, Larry, can you cut that bush down right there? And I know that I have the tools for it and it's no big deal. It's just that I have to charge for this. It's inevitable. But... You know, I, I would just say, okay, no big deal, and just do it. Those were the old days, the good old days. Now, if I am pleased with the price, excessively pleased, I mean, to a point where it's like, okay, that's fine, I can get that bush, that's nothing. That won't be no big deal. That's a different story. That's a whole nother story. If you charge it and you are happy with your price, how much you making off of it, off that property then you good just you know and you feel like it ain't nothing to do just don't don't charge them. that's your business but even if you are charging the right price and it's a nice price and you satisfied with what you're making and everything is on point you can even just charge a dollar man just a dollar or two to do something i'm just telling you right now because you're gonna be looking crazy when they say why are you charging me this time Last time you didn't charge. You're gonna be looking real crazy. Or you're gonna have to figure something out, something to say. And it ain't even worth dropping the property or the customers. Cause some of these customers are super valuable. Super valuable. And you can't, you, you know, you just, you don't wanna mess things up for something that you doing. 
So remember to just say the simple words. The simple magic words. This time is on the house. If you want to be nice, you know what I'm saying? It's just that simple. Cause that hey, I I just don't say okay no more. It's 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 either on the house at this time, it's on the house, or it's gonna be like, okay, um, this costs this much for me to do. I remember one time it was a customer, he was saying that he wanted every leaf picked up after each month. I told him at the beginning, do not expect for every leaf to be removed from off this property. I mean, it's millions of leaves. I'ma get, I'ma get to the nitty gritty. I'ma even go over it with a vacuum this one time. I charged them, I think it was 250 for that service. That was a challenging property. It, he had leaves on rock beds and all in the back. It was difficult for me to mulch them leaves. Uh, um, but yeah, so after that service, the customer was like, hey, I had seen there was a couple of leaves left on the, the rock bed. And I was uh, wondering if you can hit the property with the vacuum every time you, you mow. Because he was surrounded by leaves. He had a lot of trees. He was encompassed by trees surrounding everywhere. And I told him, I said, hey, what you see is what you get because you have so many leaves. And plus, that's going to have to be an additional $5. I'm already paying you $45 a week. I'm like, hey, I understand all that, but it's going to be $50 a week. If you want me to go over this every time to use the vacuum, the leaf vacuum, that was their Echo Leaf Vacuum, I'm going to have to charge you five dollars oh uh, well the last line for provided used to vacuum on on the bed i said yeah what where is he at now tell me where is he at because a lot of times some customers be like saying what their last line care provider did and the last line care provider didn't charge for that service and then eventually it catches up with them and then they be like oh man i should have charged for this and then they just start easing their way on out the door you know something might happen to their truck out of nowhere they just saying hey something happened to my truck i'm out or they may have stumbled up on an opportunity of a lifetime where they have to move and leave town. You know, all any kind of thing. Listen, line care providers will come up with a way to get out of a situation. <laughs> but real talk, if you already set the price right, you don't have to worry about that type of stuff. You will feel fine about either you're going to do it this time on the house or charging it. I don't care if it's a dollar, if it's 50 cent, charge. Charge for everything. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let this video go ahead and play on out. I hope y'all got something up out of this. And make sure you go ahead and just say something. Charge them, don't just say okay, because you like the customer or the property. Hey, like this customer that I'm cutting right now. I like this customer. Severely, I'm like, hey, this is. I didn't stumbled up on a nice customer and a simple, easy property. I charge fifty-five dollars bi-weekly for this property. My bottom line prices is fifty dollars. Yeah, I like this customer. This is this is a cool guy. But anyway, I hope you remember the charge. That's all it is too. Simplified. Remember the charge. Grab your kahunas, man up, become strong, and charge. Because if you don't, I will. It's just that simple. Because you're gonna end up dropping them. You end up, you're gonna end up saying, hey, I can't cut your property no more. Something happened with my truck. Anything. I don't know what y'all would say to get up out of. But, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then they call me. And then they get the right price. 
And then they be like, my last line car provider only charged such and such, or he didn't charge me for that. And I say, yep. Now you with another line car provider, and they're gone. And it, it usually works out. I just charge with prices I feel good to do. If I don't feel good with the price that I'm charging, nine times out of ten, I carry it out throughout the season. Then I go up before next season, meaning like when the next season finna come, I'm going to go ahead and go up on the price. Because I, I didn't charge for this right here. I didn't notice this. So, hey, I'm going to charge. That's righteousness, y'all. That's how you're supposed to do it. So make sure y'all like and subscribe. Um, drop a comment below and let me know, do you charge for everything or sometimes you just let stuff slide? All right. I'm going to holler at y'all in a minute. Let the video play out. Go ahead and watch it. Enjoy it. Or listen to the sounds of the more and the music. And enjoy yourself. I'll be talking at the end of this while I'm in the car, so just stay to the end. I'm going to holler at you in a minute. Peace.
quick. Let's talk about it. The side of that, the alley part, you know, the gangway, we call it gangway here. That side belongs to the neighbor. I don't do anything for free. The neighbor can pay me to, to cut it. I would have to actually, if my customer wanted me to cut that side, I would have to actually talk to this neighbor before doing it. Because you've been and did something that nobody don't want. I already been there before. I try not to repeat the same mistakes. But one thing I wanna say is that this has been super easy. So much easier. Instead of push more in the back and everything, you see me mow the front, and then come around the back, drive around the side street into the alley and mow that in the back. Remember this, always charge for everything. The second you do something that's outside of the contract, like for instance, if you say something verbal, verbal contract, you know, you telling them, hey, I string, trim, mow, and blow. Some customers will ask you if you blade edge, can you blade edge this? Anytime they ask you for anything, make sure you charge. The reason why you want to do that is because, well, I'd be nervous over here. Because <coughs> these, these cars drive really close. I need to be getting from over here. Uh, there'd be a lot of accidents over here. But the reason why you want to charge for everything is because the second you do it for free, they assume that it's, um, you know, that it's a free service added in addition to what they're paying for. So what you want to do, even if you have a good heart and you're being nice, make sure you let them know this time is on the house. Or you can let them know, hey, this is on the house. But other than that, don't ever do nothing for free. I'm telling you. I've learned, I've been done it, it is what it is. Uh, one of my OG uncles, he say, I've been there, I've done that, I stayed there, I've been made ashamed, and then I did it again. So there you go. That's a, that's uh, one of the sayings you can start ta um, taking. <laughs> been there, done that, been made ashamed, and did it again. But anyway, y'all, I'm gonna holler at y'all in a minute. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. Peace. Crazy how I came up in this game and then I ran amok. It's Larry Johnson Jr., LJJ Line Kerr, all on them trucks. I stand insanely on it, bro. I love to gain a customer. I mainly maintain what I must. I earn a trust just for the bucks. I'm blessing them with beauty cuts and placing them on YouTube. Cause I'm trying to get subscriptions up. I'm driven by ambition, bro. I'm all about integrity. You should never compare to me unless you want to see how deep your insecurity can be. I'm rolling so low in these streets and all. All I know is to live free, I'm full of peace But when it comes to line curve, boy, I am a beast I never leave until it's clean I get them weeds and everything I throw some seeds and motion leaves And trim them trees and charge them fees And yes, I am the king of string I said exactly what I mean You see the way I do my thing Them edges squared and crispy clean Then if you haven't did it yet Go ahead and like, subscribe, and share And best believe that LJJ Line Carrot's gonna be right there